Welcome back, everyone, to episode 6 of Let's Play Pike and Shots. Pike and Shot Campaigns. So things do not look good, excuse me. Oh, gosh, I almost knocked over my microphone. Things do not look good. <laughs> We're winning the left flank. We're uh, drawing about even, possibly, you could say, potentially losing the right flank. But most importantly, we're about to lose the center. <laughs> the left, the center left has already basically been totally broken. We're in very bad shape there. And I feel like uh, with whatever forces we have left, we just need to try to route a few of the musketeers. And hopefully our pike and shot on the right can hold against this onslaught of pike and, pike and, slot. Pike and shot. So that's the goal. Just uh, we can just try to do as much damage as we can. Maybe if, we'll, if we're lucky, we'll get a few of our, our horsemen back, but let's do it this way. Okay, so this is good. Did it disrupt this guy? No, of course not. Now we'll also do it here. Very good. 1815. Okay, so we did more damage than we uh, took. That's always a good sign. Let's get this back open. Now, this is quite a mess, isn't it? Um, I suppose we want this unit, who hasn't taken that much fire yet, to absorb the damage here. So we'll be blasting... Actually, what's our charge ratio right now? No, we will lose. And that is because our quality is low. I don't know where the combat strength modifier is coming from. Is that like the AI? I don't know. Anyways, we'll just blast them then. They will return fire. That's about even. Um, we can have our Dragoons. I want them to move up to make sure that this pike and shot can't do anything. Good. I, this seems weird. I'm willing to have them break. I don't really care. Um, we want these guys to route. Let's turn and face this way because I want to um, fire at these guys. This guy, hopefully with these gentlemen, will be able to route him. One more. There it is. Did this guy disrupt at all? No, not so lucky so far. That's okay. Um, unarmored horse against the Tatars. Now here is a perfect situation where we're lined up, they're in between us, but I feel like, unfortunately, this charge won't... Yeah, they are able to evade still. I don't think that's the worst idea to get... Oh, well it is, because now the Arcopissiers are going to route our armored, unarmored horse. So it doesn't... I don't understand the mechanic with these, uh, what exactly they can do, but... Fire shot there. These guys are fleeing, or well, route, um, no, pursuing. So all that is done, which means we need to get these veteran horse, we need to get all our horsemen into the fight quickly, really quickly. Um, so quickly that maybe we will just, we're about to have a breakthrough here. So let's get our horse lined up so that once we break over here, we can continue the attack. Okay. Oh yes, now this is where it's not good. Obviously we're not gonna win this, we just, I think we just fire and we take a lot of fire back. No other way of doing it. Okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. Maybe there's hope. Let's get this guy to fall back a little bit more. Just waiting for any of those Tatars to rejoin the field. And we'll route them right back off. Okay, you guys will stay where you are. Yeah, it says you haven't moved, but you have. Oh my gosh, we haven't even used this one well. Since we, I know we fired at this unit, let's go ahead and continue to fire at that unit. And do zero damage. That's unfortunate. So I read more. It's apparently the mixed fire, artillery and gunshot, is supposed to impact their morale. I don't know if it impacts casualties. So that's what I read. And we'll do next turn. Let's see how this works out. Not too bad. Oh, fragmented. That's not good. I can't see this. Where, where are we even being shot? <laughs> okay, good. Even though we're massively advantaged, they only had a small uh, difference. Uh, we're about equal terms here. I think this is true over here as well. They're actually slightly advantaged, but <clears throat> I think based on casualties, we'll wear them down. These guys broke, which is good. Flank attack, flank attack! Oh, they disrupted! Okay, the Tatars have returned over there, so I have to get my... I got my horses on the wrong side. This is even, even though they are slightly disadvantaged. Okay, this... 
Oh, it was very good. We are massively advantaged versus the cavalry. We won. It didn't disrupt, though, so this is a little unfortunate. We are greatly advantaged, and we won significantly. No disruption, though. Okay, this is where the casualties are going to come in really high. I expect us to break. I'm just glad that we were able to get something off before. Jeez, man. Ugh. Staggering casualties. The cavalry has to win the day. <laughs> because the troops on the ground. Yeah, that was not good. That's what I expected. It's really unfortunate that the Tatars were able to remove it's just a very oblique angle. Uh, and I unfortunately was kind of relying on some information which said that they couldn't do that, but it's obvious that they can. They are deciding to charge us. This is a little bit strange, even though they're disadvantaged. Oh, what the hell? They were able to get us still? It's unusual. And these guys are disrupted just from a single arrow blow. Well, I mean, things are out of the... This is just out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> Nothing is going well here. There we go. So finally we got some disrupted units. Okay. We're, st we're now advantaged, so we're winning that one. And that person rallied. That'll help us even more. Obviously the Dragoons are not going to last long back there. We may even try to attack their Dragoons. Okay, we're great. So the cavalry is going to win. And hey, we rallied here. This is good. Um, we are actually slightly disadvantaged, but we came out ahead. I don't know why we're disadvantaged. Oh, well, well now we're not in a good way. That's our veteran horsemen, too. I wonder why that they're doing so poorly. They're not. Oh, they are disrupted. Okay. We fragmented the enemy. This is good. Disrupted them. So I guess what the idea here is, if we can hold long enough, if we can hold long enough, we will route enough cavalry, I think, to get to the advantage point. We're never going to catch the Tatars, and they are on the hillside, so what we're going to do is we're going to move ourselves up onto the hill. Start turning this way, and come back around. I don't know any other way of doing it. Now that puts us on the hill, so at least we won't fight the Russian cavalry at a disadvantage. But I, the Tatars are just going to be so annoying that I want to get away from them. <laughs> okay, this is a fight we technically lose. We win the impact. Oh no, we win entirely. Very good. Then charge we do. That's what we will do. Very good start. Okay, this is the unit. Ah, we can charge. If we charge this, they will almost surely break. So let's do it. We want to keep routing them as, as many as possible, as quickly as possible. Now, in the melee, the resulting melee, I think we will win that. Um, we're not close enough to charge either of these units. So I suspect the thing we want to do is being three or four away doesn't really matter. Almost surely we're going to route at the first sign of trouble here. Okay, so let's fire at these reserves, I think. <sighs> Zero balls. We will win this. So let's charge them. Whoa, we're on equal. Ah, damn. I'm doing this to prevent... This may cause a cohesion loss, but it, I, I want to get us away from... No, we have enough time, I think. We have a little bit more time before we need to worry. So let's do this. Uh, how do we want to do this? We are still losing that. So... We win this one, though. Okay, so then, this, to me, the idea is simple. Oh, God, they're disrupted. But we will charge. And this we should win. Ah, still losing them. Huh. Okay, now on the same idea here, we will actually win. Interesting. Why does it have us winning? We lose the initial charge, but we win the later, the subsequent. And I think we should just get our guys locked into melee. 
Yeah, sixteen and eight to win or lose in the in the charge. So let's charge. Hey, okay, even that was the one we were predicted to lose the most. So now we're kind of saving our troops here. <laughs> let's turn them like this so they're ready to keep shooting at them. Uh, this is not going to go well. I don't know any other thing to do than just to shoot them though, and we'll probably break. Yeah, and that unit broke as well. We had our choice of which one we could attack, this one or this one, but, you know, we probably should have attacked the Musketeers with shot. Hmm. <sighs> the dance this is a pretty crazy dance here we have going on. I think what we have to do is turn... I want these guys to move away. <laughs> really what I want them to do is run this way. Maybe we can run them out this way. I think we'll have these veteran horses do this. Okay. Now that's not good. We'll turn and... Who can we shoot at? Ah, here. Let's shoot these guys. No, what the hell? <laughs> these guys can't shoot anybody. Oh, maybe we can shoot somebody over here. Oh, good. We can shoot some routing musketeers. Well, at least we can shoot somebody. Obviously, didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> now, they rallied over there, so I think we'll start moving back. They might be needed for something else. I wish we could control them, but they are routing. Okay, so next turn. I'm kind of happy that they started targeting... Oh, they got 10, so this is fragmented. Wow, we're down to 20. We're up to 27 already, which means probably we can't get a victory below 60%. Okay, these guys just routed anyway. They broke. So this is interesting now. The charge is happening. We are slightly advantaged there. That is good. We probably should charge then. Okay, that is greatly disadvantaged. We, we were successful there. Damn it, they did rally. That was the one I shot. Huh. You'd think that shooting them while they're already routing would further increase their routing, but nope. They broke. Where can they even go? Do we charge? We do. Good. Okay, they've returned exactly at the worst time, unfortunately. Good. We were winning that one. We really won that one. That's spectacular. Uh, very surprising. In fact, it's almost bad that they broke off, though, because now we can be attacked from people we don't want to be attacked from. Okay, we are greatly advantaged. Five to six. Six to nine here. So we're winning these. This is good. They... It is not that much, though. It's basically just even. Well, I think we have to turn and face now. It's time time to... <laughs> we, at this point, we have to just engage. Damn it, we're fragmented. <sighs> From just a few arrows, we're being fragmented. It's just those guys have only taken a few hits, and it's a little bit... Not looking good. Yeah, I get it. They didn't break actually from that. I'm surprised. Good. Hmm, not a lot of casualties. We need things to happen quickly over here. Okay, disrupted. Okay, it's back to us. Uh, I think we have to attack this because... Oh, good. No, damn it, we don't have enough... It's under control percent charge, damn it. I mean, these guys are gonna break. I may do that, I'm gonna do this. Break. Don't disrupt. Ugh. I don't really know what else I could have done with this unit. 
I needed them to get away so that their breaking wouldn't affect us, and they didn't pass the cohesion test, so that's unfortunate, but... Now we lose this one, but I think... We might as well just shoot this unit and get them to wrap. Okay, in the same way, I think we just have to force the issue here. Well, it's not super effective. 11, that was effective. Just prepare for the charge. If they route us just by normal means, well, there's nothing we could do anyway. These Tatars came back just the worst time, just as I turned away, you know? So let's prepare ourselves to chase off this other, the Cossacks. And basically, I think the point now is just to charge anybody we can. So we are not close enough to do this. Wow, we're not close enough to do either of those. We're close enough to do this, but we actually still win that. We lose the initial, or it's a draw. The initial is a draw, but... Huh, okay, well then do the charge. Maybe we'll rally in the process. I like that because it gets them out of the range of... Um, I mean, now they can't be at least attacked. Pursuing. So who's available? We know you're available. You're the only one available. Well, maybe we should send him after the other Tatars. No, this is a full strength unit. Okay, let's look at the situation here. It's a little confusing, a little messy. This guy's routing here. This guy, I think, is also pursuing, but he'll probably not pursue. Usually only one unit will pursue. We're about to break there. We're about to break there. We're doing okay there. That'll last a little longer. And this unit is already routing. I think if we route this guy, we'll be pu we'll push through and we'll actually charge this. Let's do that. T turn. Yes. Bingo. Got it. So we're slightly advantaged, and the bigger thing is it's two to one, right? Oh, they're in rough ground. That's why our. Um, that's why we're doing so poorly. <laughs> That's why the statistics aren't very high. But that's okay, we're still advantaged over them. And we have two, and that always helps as well, so very good. Nobody else will call this video to a close. I mean, not this video, sorry, this turn. There, they broke, okay, yeah. The worst case possible is that we didn't even take the pursuers with us. It's really a race to 60. Um, I don't think we're gonna get there first either. If we can route, you know, a few of these, this would be big. Not just big, huge. Because they have so many men in them. Okay, disrupted. The cavalry don't have enough men. It's like you have to route almost twice as many cavalry units in order to get the same effect in terms of percentage. This is just a just bloodbath. Very large casualty numbers, if we were to look, I'm sure. Yeah, we will win that for sure. And we made it impossible for our cavalry to be just stricken to death slowly with projectiles of any kind, so that's good. I don't know what we did. I We charged somebody. They're not disrupted. Oh, this is a new unit. We found the last cavalry, that one lone one up there. <laughs> So now they will have to turn and come this way. This makes sense. Okay. We will still win this if that guy cannot continue, if he can't do anything. Ah, yes, I see. Definitely what we're going to have to do is have this horse make sure we pursue that the Cossacks up north. Well, actually, technically, I guess north is this way, so further east. Good, we're doing at least some damage. And now melee. This melee is my friend. Good, we're still winning that. Uh, a lot of routing, which is not good, but what can you do? It's already done. Okay, good, fragmented. We will win that eventually. I think we... Oh, we won! They broke! And we actually pulled through, disrupted. This is kind of a funny situation going on here. Put it, unfortunately, put my flank very exposed. 
And these guys are not routing, unfortunately. Looks like the fight on the rough ground is not good. It's just, there's no casualties. Nobody's going to ever do anything. We need people to break, because we need to get that percentage up. Alright, well, first things first, let's try to work on this disrupted unit. I expected some return fire there. But this guy can... He's actually in control. Well, that's quite good. You are pursuing, though. Okay. And you are also in control. You can shoot. If we're going to shoot, if we're going to charge, let's see, do we win this? We don't. But if we do that, it'll stop this unit from breaking, which is kind of weird. Although, really, what we have to do is we have to face this. Uh, this is impossible. <laughs> Are they going to break? They're at 480, so 240 is... Are we going to be able to do 49 damage? No. I think what we're going to have to do, unfortunately, is sacrifice this guy. We need to turn this guy over here and shoot him. And eventually charge him. So we did that. This guy is going to have to turn and... Okay, well, he's going to route, unfortunately. If this guy doesn't pursue this guy out of the way, if he routes this way, we could end up re-breaking that guy, which would be very, very big. Okay, so we have somebody who's intact over here. We need your help on the right. You have to move this way so we can get the Cossacks when they begin to do their nefarious duty of... Trying to route my horse. I will just hopefully hit them in the bum as well. Yeah, another unit where we could either force the issue and begin the cascade of routing. I think that's okay to begin the cascade because it should be clink, clink, clink. Let's do it. No, you missed him. He's over here. Oh, he broke anyway. Okay, good. Good. Really, quite good. That's weird. Why did he do damage from two away? I, I, I didn't like that when that happened to me. I don't like it when I do it to them either. It doesn't really make sense. And that's actually everybody. We've moved everyone. Oh, God, the carnage. The carnage. <laughs> All right, well, in that case, end the turn. Good. They did not attack who I was... Well, anyways... And these guys are dispersing. They're only up to 43, though. Wow. So they have just have so many people. Oh, my God. Those guys rallied back to Disrupted from Fragmented. Okay. All right. They finally Fragmented, which is good. And those guys still haven't even gotten Disrupted, which is a bit surprising. Good, they're disrupted. So now it doesn't matter, they can do their side flanking attacks all they want. We should hold there. Not good. Very not good. Wait, that's me! I, I did something good! No, that's a, that's a great thing! <laughs> okay, so we fragmented them, but then we routed. Which is... Ah, what the hell happened here? They went back and... Okay, that actually did matter. I'm just kidding. That was actually huge. <sighs> Good, they did that, which is what we wanted. Take seven, that's fine. That's fine. 43. Okay, the melee phase is normally where we have to win. No, oh, we're... Now we're going to lose that, unfortunately. Wow, we broke. Damn. Oh, God. We're so close to just losing this. There's so many men on the field that matter so much. <laughs> still didn't break that. They're still not disrupted. My God.
It's neck and neck. <laughs> but we don't have the advantage, I, I would say, moving forward. Oh, wow, that was actually quite good. Oh, we f wait. Oh, my God, that's great. This is truly, truly way, way better than I expected. Okay. So, and they're, they're low on morale as well. We don't have you back. Do we have you back? No. We have you. Not priority chase target. Who's next to us that we... Is this our priority ch chase target? Not close enough. Okay. If we do this, we can't. We win this, but they will uh, maneuver away. But that might still be what we... <sighs> stuck. So we're, we're really stuck here. I don't like that at all. 170 versus 159. So we've definitely won that engagement and we're continuing to win. You can see we have better armor and now because of the casualties they've taken, they're at lower melee. So we're at 100 and they're at 88. We're at 33, they're at 25. Obviously that doesn't change throughout a battle, but okay. So this unit can charge and we will win. In order to make this victory happen as quickly as possible, because a lot of bad things are happening here, I'm going to hit them first, and then we're going to charge them. Oh my god, it went the other way. Oh, wow. It was possible that that could happen. It's just rather unfortunate. <laughs> Just a very low damage fight going on there. All right, let's see. Who do we have? Horses. Yeah, this is tough. They will evade, but, you know, what are we going to do? At least they're less effective shooting from the forest. I think we try to break this guy faster. Let's just have these breaks happen faster. Finally, they're disrupted. Okay could also force him to break, but I think this guy should start turning and helping out with the, the ground forces. Same way that I want this guy to help out with the ground forces, so I think we'll just move him down here. Oh, we can't charge. We're not close enough. Well, we'll prepare for this, though. Next turn, we will charge them. And if they face this way, we will uh, charge them. Yeah. Wait, let's do this. This is great. That's fine. It's not a whole lot. Oh my. Alright, that's everyone. Well, it's down to the wire here, isn't it? Just madness. I, I don't know. It's hard to even keep track of who's riding where in, in this carnage. Really sad that we lost that initial charge there. They're not disrupted yet? God, still. We're just buying time. Okay. Now it's their turn, unfortunately, though. Okay, we did fragment that. Which means break. Damn. Ah, stubborn unit. Oh, no, that's not good. So, I don't know who's fighting who. Oh, our veteran horse just charged somebody. This is actually quite good. So we did a lot of damage to them. They did break. Damn. Damn. Our horse is disrupted. We can probably still charge the fragmented unit and get them to break. That's not too bad. Okay, and melee, this has to go our way. 4952, it's so close. Oh my god, these guys just won't give up. Good, we're still winning that. Break. Very good. Finally, we got that unit out. 
hopefully we'll get control of one of those soon. We're at 52. They're so close. <laughs> I'm so close. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good that we rallied. That was our unit, right? Veteran horse, yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's try to make this count. First of all, can you charge here? No, but you can and we will win that. So let's just do it. Okay, you can charge him, yes, and we win that for sure. They broke, very good. Okay, you're doing that. These guys have, oh, those are Tatars, I don't care about them. I am not close enough, damn. Oh, I can charge these guys on the flank, so we can route them, hopefully. Good. And we, I guess, aren't able to attack the Dragoons, though. It's okay. Well, we can pressure these guys' flank. That's I want to just hit them right now. But we can't, I guess. We have to wait one turn. Um, I guess we'll just keep chasing these guys off the field. Okay, well, fair enough. And you... I'm not close enough to charge, though. Okay, well, we'll leave them there so they can charge next turn. The guns... We can only hit guys who are flanking in this guy, so we hit him. 18, wow. I guess when you're this close and shooting him in the back, it actually is effective. Otherwise, it's all our, <laughs> all of us routing, and that's it. Oh boy. So the shooting won't go our way, but the melee should. They're at 61! We've done it! We've done it! We have done it! Oh, this was a hard-fought battle. Oh my, this was a hard, hard-fought battle. Oh god, they rallied. Does that mean... Does that mean they don't... I, I don't know what this when this percentage is calculated. If we win this, there will be great celebrations in Tortuga's house. <laughs> We probably don't deserve to win it. I don't know how we... Uh, wait! Oh, the Russians have their turn first. Okay. So, if them in the melee, we at least... They don't rally. They can't rally. And we broke. Oh, God. It's so close. <laughs> but we didn't have a decrease because they're not, um, like, sizable enough horse unit. To cause us to have a like a flank attack effect. They're at 65. We've done it. And surely in the melee we shouldn't... They should only... Oh, they broke. Yes, this is good. And we should actually win that, which we did. Great rejoicing in the house of Tortuga. And we kept our guns alive, which is always nice. I mean, just... They were just... They're the eyewitnesses to the absolute chaos, destruction, death. Holy cow, we've done it. So this was an amazing victory. An amazing victory. I really didn't expect us to pull it out. Look at the numbers. Holy cow. Their original strength was 10,000. Ours, 7. And we lost about 2,000. They lost about... Holy cow. They lost about 5,000. 5,500 from the, from the looks of it. No, this was actually almost... 6,000. Wow. It's like 5,800 is the count I'm getting. That's incredible. So a really, really solid victory. And now it's just not even slight Swedish advantage. It's gone up to Swedish advantage. Well, I'm going to call this video to a close. Um, wow. That's probably going to snowball into a victory for us. From there, I don't really think... Um, it should be all downhill from here. For them, <laughs> for us, I mean, that's a weird expression. All downhill can either be good or bad, but things should just get easier and easier for us. 
But for now, I'm going to call this video to a close, like I said. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you for the next video.